Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Toy Review Man, back with a new review for you. This time we have another Figma, a real Figma this time. Um, someone said that the last Figma I did, which was Megurina Luca, was fake. I looked into it and it appears to be correct that Megurina Luca is a fake figure. Uh, but a lot of the fakes, a lot of the fake Figmas are done quite nice, so it doesn't really matter. But kind of sucks that it's fake, of course. But we're not going to talk about her now. We're going to talk about the main character of the hit manga and anime, Attack on Titan, Eren Jaeger. First, let's take a look at the box. We here we have Figma 207, Eren Jaeger from Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin. Uh, this is a Max Factory product. And you can see right here, that little sticker thingy there, is kind of a certificate of authenticity. Kind of. Because Fakes doesn't have that, I've been told. Um, on the top, you can see Figma. You can see a picture of Eren and the Attack on Titan logo right there. Turn it on the side, you have another picture of Eren. And, then, and again, that. On the back, you have... Aaron in different poses and and they show off his different expressions and just some legal guff and again on this side is a different picture a bit more serious Aaron here and then again that and if you see at the bottom you have the same thing as on the top but that thing from the store I bought it in now I know that this is not a fake because I bought it in a store, in my local comic book store thingy, where I kind of know that they don't sell fakes because they have reliable uh, sources where they buy their stuff from to sell on to customers. But that's enough with the box. Let's get on with the review. Aaron comes with a lot of accessories. I'm not even kidding. Uh, like, you thought that Luca came with, well, enough accessories? <laughs> Aaron comes with a lot more. First off, we have the instruction manual thingy, which is in all Japan and upside down. Uh, like, showing you how to put things together. And, yeah, how, basically how to do stuff with this figure. Um, let's see what we have here. We have the sword thingies. Uh, the blades, I think, are detachable. Yes, the blades are detachable. I'm just gonna focus it a bit here. Come on. Focus. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, but still, the blades are detachable. So, you gotta know which way the blades are supposed to be in, so you don't put them in the wrong way. I have the other one here for reference if I forget. So it's gonna be in like that. When it's put in, it's stuck quite neatly. So yeah, you get two blades, which are seriously crafted real well. Let's see if we can focus a bit better on it to take a look. Here you Let's see. see. It's amazingly detailed, just like it's, it is in the show. Um, turn around, it's basically the same. Well, you can see that it's really detailed because it's actually not the same on both sides. Let's take up the other one for reference. Like that. You can see that there are two different motives on either one of the sides, so that's really good. Over to the next thing. Something I didn't tell you about the blades and the hand is that the blade holding hand is made perfectly to hold the blades with fingers in those holes right there and that is quite amazing Max Factory. Kudos to that. This figure comes with a total of 10 hands which of 8 of them are extra hands. 2 hands to hold the blades two normal holding Figma holding hands for holding stuff, 
two open hands and two very open hands. Yeah, these are the newer kind of Figma hands which have the hole in them instead of the pegs, which means that the figure here has a peg, a peg hole, a peg like this one. This is one of the spare ones, or there is actually just one spare one. This is a spare hand joint that you use to connect the hands to the body. What is an Attack on Titan figure without a 3D maneuvering gear? Uh, this is made so excellent. It looks just like it does in the show. It's sculpted and painted amazingly. It, it's done so well, but I feel that it's quite delicate and it might break if you put enough force to it. So if you ever get one of these figures, be very, very careful. Every time I put it on and off, I feel like I'm gonna break it, so be very careful with this, okay? Yeah. The 3D maneuvering gear also has a peg hole here. Uh, for it comes with this originally comes with this part here, which uh, is supposed to be just right there. Just because that's what it looks like in the show, right? But it comes with an effect part that you can put on right here like that and there you have it an effect part that looks like it's shooting out uh, or it's the person is flying and there's a smoke trail behind him or her in this case him because it's Eren it also comes with these uh, which are um, uh, you know those um, thread thingies the cable thingies that they shoot out from the 3D maneuvering gear that sticks to walls and titans and trees and whatever. These are stiff, so you can pose the figure, just like you saw in the start of the video. Um, yeah, it's quite quite neat. And with these, or well, it also comes effect parts like these, uh, where um, just put put it on the three D maneuvering gear, and just like so, and it looks like it's shooting it out. And that's quite cool. Um, while talking about cable, you also get these. I haven't taken them out of the bag and I really don't really intend to uh, either because I don't want to use it like this. But it comes with two hooks, as you might see here. And uh, cable that you connect to the three 3D maneuvering gear, which is right here. Um, so you can hook him up to places in your own home or wherever. Uh, yeah, and it also came, it also comes with a spare cable. This is made out of um, some sort of, I don't know what what it is. I haven't taken it out because I don't want to lose it or destroy it or whatever. So yeah, uh, if you wanna, let's see here. Yeah, it comes, it, it looks like some plastic cable thingy here. It's not really bendable. It just goes back to its original, original form. So yeah, I can link down below I can link um, a link to videos by Mecha Gaikotsu. I hope I pronounced that correctly now, but I'm gonna link to him down below because he has done uh, quite a few of these Attack on Titan Figma reviews. So if you wanna go a bit more into detail about what these are, you can click that it's down there. So yeah, uh, it also comes with this part. This part right here, if the camera will focus, which, which is not something it doesn't want to. There we go. Just a clear part, uh, which uh, really come is with this, the mantle or the cape. Just put this in here, makes it stick to the body of the figure. Uh, and and the mantle or the cape looks amazing. It's It's made out of a soft material, soft plastic. And the cape, or, or yeah, the hood is separate from the cape, as you can see here, which is really well made, and it just looks amazing. You're gonna show it on the figure a bit later. Last but not least uh, are the alternate faces. This one, which is an angry shouting face, which resembles Eren quite a lot, actually, and this one. Which is a scary what the heck face, which also represents Aaron quite a lot, really. 
So yeah, it also comes with that, with this uh, more serious face, which is just so much Aaron as you can get. And well, it comes with a stand, of course, the standard Figma stand and the standard Figma bag, of course. But yeah, that's self-explanatory. And um, that was the accessories. Let's go over to articulations, I guess. For articulations, this is what you can expect from a Figma, really. It goes all the way up, not really hindered by the jacket here because it's a separate flap, which I think is quite good, but it can look bad on on pictures if you don't really do it the correct way. The hands go all the way, the, all that up right there, and then you can turn it and it can go even further, but that is a bit hindered because it sticks out quite a bit. So pretty much there. You can do the full 360, of course. Um, bends at the el elbow, turns at the elbow, fully 360 there as well. Uh, bends here at the hand joint, turns at the hand joint, which is what you would expect. Um, the head goes, it doesn't really go much more up because it's hindered by this this part of the jacket right here. So yeah, doesn't really go much further up than that. Fully down, can go quite, quite far down actually. Uh, quite some wiggle there, the fully 360 exorcist spin. Uh, yes, that was actually uh, a quote or stealing from uh, Vote Saxon 07, but all credit to him, it's a wonderful phrase. Uh, here on the chest he can go like that and like that like fully There is a bit waist movement here, of course, so he can go like Yeah, whatever that was kind of dumb, but yeah like that For Posing like paint me like one of your French girls um, and um, Foot all the way to the front all the way to the back, a bit hindered by this leather skirt thingy, but it's also made out in two parts, so it's not hindered too much. Foot all the way out, which is not hindered at all, so he is able to do the splits. Um, it turns at the thigh here, bends at the knee a bit more than 40 degrees, 45 degrees, sorry. Uh, yeah, a bit more, not much, but a bit more. And it's quite an astonishing calve here. It's actually really nicely made. It's muscle here. Nice. And um, at the ankle it bends and turns a bit. And it also wiggles a bit actually. If you, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Can you see that? It wiggles a bit. And it bends at the toe here. So that's quite a lot of articulation. Uh, for a figure of this size, um, but it's quite good. Yeah, I've seen other figures of this size. For example, this Amy figure from Doctor Who, which is about the same size, which like doesn't have any articulation at all. Like, I'm gonna review this later, uh, so you're gonna see the articulations then. But, but yeah, this is a lot better articulated. For the aesthetics. Um, you can see that it's really nicely made. It's just really, really nice. You can see the belt buckle there, and you can see the thread right there. You can see the Scouting Legion uh, symbol right there on the pocket. You can see the pocket, you can see the button. You can see the flap on the jacket. And another symbol there on the buttons. And the symbol in the back is just so amazingly made. And that is shiny compared to the matte painting on the jacket and like basically almost everything else. This part right here, let's see if you can zoom in. This part right here is made amazingly well. You can see it's perfectly painted, no scuff anywhere. Um, of course there's a peg hole there but that's for the stand and stuff. And the, this actually is for the 3D maneuvering gear. You can see the stitching here is quite well. The feet are amazing. You can see the belt thingies and the buckles, and you can see that it's actually a bit tight on his thighs here. It's 
bit sticking out on the sides and it's very good and it's just an amazing figure and you can see the face is so darn good about face um, to change the face of this Figma you just take the front part of the hair off like so just put that away just take the face right off the figure put the face you want on and just put the hair back on and there we go it's just as easy as that and um, you can put on any Figma face on these figures as long as the Figmas are real I can show you because I tried to do this with the Luca face but it's not it, it doesn't work so so real Figma faces is swappable, but fake my Figma faces are apparently not. There's Eren with some accessories ready to battle, ready to, well, attack Titans. Duh. Now, um, to put on the mantle, you take his head off. I'm not going to show you because I, I'm always terrified of taking Figma's head off. But you take his head off, you put the mantle on, and then, oh, bad lighting. Uh, see if we can turn the lighting up. No, okay. But you can see there that clear part right there goes right to where the peg hole would be. So you just put the peg from the stand right into his mantelpiece and then right into his back. And there you have it. And you can just put him up for display with 3D maneuvering gear. Which, by the way, looks amazing. And now it's time to see Aaron in some different poses. And then we have. quite good figure but it's quite expensive it's quite pricey um, figmas usually are uh, real figmas anyway I mean if you're gonna buy a fake figma not that pricey but a real figma costs a lot of money and uh, if you don't have any much if you don't have much money or if you're on a budget I wouldn't really recommend you buying this but uh, if you have the money and you're a huge Attack on Titan fan I recommend you buying this. Uh, this exists in uh, Eren, uh, Mikasa, Armin, but that I think was a limited edition thingy, and Levi, and um, the cleaning Levi. Uh, yeah. So if you're a hardcore Attack on Titan fan and you have the money to buy it, I would recommend you buying this. It is pretty darn cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's all for me. Goodbye, and I'll see you later in another review. I have three more Figmas uh, coming, I think. Uh, I think at least one of them is a fake. Uh, I ordered an Amikasa figure of the same series, but I think it's a fake. So uh, we can compare them. And then I have two Hatsune Mikus coming. So, yeah. And then we have that Doctor Who thing, so... Yeah, we have a couple of reviews coming up. See you later. Be careful when you use it, because if you see right here on the symbol, uh, some paint has been scratched off. Uh, so be very, very careful when using and when, when plugging in the peg into the hole. Be very careful so you won't experience this, because it really, really sucks. It really does, because I can't paint over it with, like, and marker so yeah be careful